told them to uh, stay seated, makes me feel like I'm a bit taller. If he stood up, I'd be knackered again. Uh, Len, uh, um, great turnout here tonight, and um, Graham Alexander told some great stories there uh, of, of games that you'll remember well. Yeah, uh, I thought Graham, um, oh, mate, why do you call him Graham? I've known him ever. Scored absolutely brilliantly, and uh, simply stories about when football was a little bit different to what it is now. Um, as he said, things do progress and things change a little bit, and um, not always for the better, but yeah, there was a good time. Uh, just in terms of what the main reason we're here tonight, we're, we're all here to have a laugh, have a good time, have a drink. Uh, if you need to smoke, get outside. But other than that, we're all right. Um, in, in, in all seriousness, we do need to raise as much money as we can because um, a lot of people in this room, I would imagine, don't know enough about motor neuro disease. And um, I'll be honest with you, before you told me, I didn't either. Uh, and, and that needs to change, doesn't it? Yeah, very much so. Um, it, it's something, it's a silent disease almost. People don't speak about it, people know about it, and that's pretty much it. And, you know, just to put it into context, um, I was telling you the before at the hospital, having had the end of the and broke that thumb. Um, and we got to the time and said, oh, I see you've got most of you, and he said, yeah, and he said, oh, uh, Stephen Hawking had that, didn't he? I went, yeah, he went, what exactly is it? So, you know, if, if a doctor doesn't know what it is, we can't really expect Joe Fox to know what it is, but it absolutely needs um, a lot more um, awareness raising and, and people like to say that's going on what it is. Um, the amount of times that I've actually been drunk and not been accused of being drunk, and the amount of times that I've not been drunk with most neuro disease and been accused of being drunk, the irony is it is just the way it is, but um, yeah, people don't know enough about it, they don't know how it uh, manifests itself and I'm sort of going around the football grounds and trying to get people aware in colleges and schools and things like that. But um, yeah, it's one of those things that I, I feel like I'm to do. Do you know as well, folks, a lot of people think that footballers are aloof, rich, don't care. It sounds a lot like the Friday night doing my show with them, actually. But, <laughs> talk about these things but having been to virtually all of the football clubs with Len to help promote the fundraising of what MND is the footballers when this fella speaks are absolutely transfixed in what he's talking about everybody from watching them because I don't need to watch him when he's talking because I've heard his speech a million times it changes a little bit a little bit more rubbish gets spouted each time. But we're still at 20 minutes at the moment, so we're, we're hoping to stay at that. Um, but the footballers themselves and the coaching staff of clubs have been absolutely brilliant. They really have. And, um, and Grez, I'll be testing you next week to, to come and see you at Salford and, and, and all the lads and, um, and come and see you because what we have found is that the football clubs in the Lancashire area that we have been to have been so accommodating, they've been brilliant and, and we hope that that is um, replicated right the way through the country and um, and we're going to have to get our travelling boots on, aren't we? Yeah, well you certainly are mate, yes, I'm going to be driving you around here and everywhere but you're absolutely right, the clubs have been fantastic, really receptive and it's, it's clearly it's an emotive subject um, and it can be a little bit dark at times but I kind of don't want it to be like that, I do want to raise the awareness but I also want to let people know that in a stupid way, life still goes on, and I, I sort of felt like that before I was ill. Um, I would always sort of enjoy my life, and I've said this before, you, you've heard me say, I'm essentially a selfish person, and I live my life so that I enjoy it. I'm not going to stop now just because I've got some sort of illness, so um, I'll keep enjoying my life to the full, as long as I'm not sort of trampling on people on the way. And I want others who have got MND or any other illnesses to, to recognise that you can still sort of enjoy your life. So. It's about raising awareness, but also giving that little bit of hope. And, and that's not because I think I'm some sort of soup, and I'm really, really not what I am. But <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's just that I generally do think it's, it's, it's something I should be doing. Ladies and gentlemen, that was brilliant to the book, wasn't it?